Hi. Happy birthday, Lee. It's all right, guys. I hope everyone's fine. Well, it's turned out windy this morning. I've got my hat on. Very, very windy. I've got my hat on, hat, because it is very, very hot here in the Philippines. Now I'm going to have a walk to the mango tree. Let's see where the big mangoes have fallen. Let's have a look. Not exactly. Right. So I'll have a little chat this morning and I'll try and find a spot. And it's, it's just that sunny. I'm looking out to the volcano. I'll show you the volcano. So let's have a look. That's the volcano. Canlahan. Right, like I said, let me try and find a spot. Oh, that's better. Right. Just a little chat this morning, guys. And actually, there's been a guy, an American guy, shot dead in Cebu. Now, we saw it on Facebook. And then, and then we looked on Facebook later on. And it said the guy was okay, was shot in the shoulder. And then he was shot in the leg. So I don't really know the truth. But the girlfriend's just looked online and she's looked on Facebook. And actually, by the sounds of it, he's a, an American guy from Cebu and he has actually been shot and he has he's dead. And at the time, he was with his wife and kid, his little baby. <coughs> Excuse me. So he's been shot dead and it was by a rapper. Range 999, you know, coward, cowardly shooting, cowardly act, you know, but by the sounds of it now, you know, like, like I said, guys, you know, fight with your hands, you know, it, a lot of shooting going off, a lot of killing going off, and it's not very, very good, quite a few foreigners are getting shot. A lot, of, a lot, a lot of Filipinos actually get shot. But this rapper, now, now rap. Don't listen to rap. Don't like rap. I can remember rap from many years ago. And as I remember rap, I don't know if rap's different today, guys, because I never listen to it. But it could be totally different today. But when I used to... I didn't listen to rap, never. But, you know, when I used to hear rap, it... it all I ever heard about rap was living in a slum, killing, shooting, drugs, and that were rap. And But I don't know what rap's like today. You know, it could be totally different. And that's all it used to be. So this 999, this range 999 has actually, and his friends, rapper friends, according to Facebook, they've shot this American guy. So, you know... Actually, we got told the American guy was okay and it was an argument. But I don't know the real truth. But like a short, like I said, short video this morning. So that's what's happened. That's what's on Facebook. You know, and I thought, wow, you know, a little bit sad. L listen, I understand, right, you get quite a few foreigners that might be nasty, right? And you might have an argument with a foreigner and the foreigner can have a bad attitude. But, by the sounds on it, the foreigner was quite a nice guy and it was the rappers that were at fault. And now the rapper's trying to get get off with it and he's got a lot of excuses. But you were, it was seen on CCTV and it was the rapper. By the sounds on it, like I said, you know, the foreigner with his wife and with his baby in a restaurant. I mean, I've had a few arguments with you Filipinas, you know, some of you big, you know, a lot bigger than me, a lot bigger than me, and I've had, like, I've always been nice, said hello, hi, and I've met a few nasty Filipinas. I've met, I have also met, here in the Philippines, a few nasty foreigners. But, you know... When it comes to a gun, it's a cowardly act, okay? You go to shoot someone, it's a cowardly act. A coward, a cowardly act. You know, no need. And then you kill someone and then you've got all these excuses. I were on drugs, I were drinking. Listen, if you're on drugs and you're drinking, you've got a gun 
and you go and look for someone and you shoot him and kill him, you know exactly what you're doing. So you can, you know, you can have all these excuses. You know what you're doing. First, first degree murder, right? Absolutely disgusting, but it is what it is. But you know, you have to really feel sorry because, like I said, American guy's got a baby, he's got a wife here, and I don't really know what happened. But you know, by the sounds of it. The rappers at fault, the rappers saying bad things to the American guy by the sounds of it. Like I said, I wasn't there. I only know, what, I'm just repeating what's on Facebook. But by the sounds of it now, this guy it has actually been shot dead. And the rapper had a gun and there were no ID on the gun. That's a ghost gun. As you know, Sabo is famous for ghost guns. What's a ghost gun? A ghost gun. Is a gun, no serial numbers on, cannot be traced, and it's what, it's what, I'm trying to think of the word, it's what the killers here in the Philippines use, you know, it's what the kill, killers use, assassins, it's what the assassins in the Philippines use, but look guys, you know, you've left a, a baby, you've left a baby with no papa, and you've left a wife, we no husband, so you know. I I actually you know hope you rot in hell. You know I hope you rot in hell. You know you can have all your excuses. Calm has come. What goes around comes around. And listen here, prison in the Philippines. Wow, I would not like to go to prison here in the Philippines. It's very. I've seen it. I've seen prison on YouTube, never been in prison in the Philippines, but wow, you know, it's it must be worse than hell, prison in the Philippines, you know, but it is what it is, and a lot of you guys are just going to keep on shooting other people with your guns, but, you know, it's really bad when a guy's with his wife and he's got his baby daughter and he's going, he's getting in the car, so he goes to his car to get in the car to drive away. Then you come, bang. Really bad, you know. And for foreigners, like I said, a foreigner really needs to be, my opinion, a foreigner needs to be a little bit careful here. And like I said, if you're a big short foreigner and you've got a big mouth and you run your mouth, or you're a big short Filipina, you've got a big mouth, you run your mouth, you know, and it comes to bang. Well, like I said, karma will come and you'll you'll suffer the consequences. So, God bless. That's all I can actually say this morning. But, you know, like I said, I've had a few arguments. Could have, It could have led. It could lead to me. It could easily be. It could have been really nasty, the arguments. But, you know, the arguments I've had, I have actually run across a few bad foreigners, you know, they run the big fat mouth. And I've also run a, a, against really nasty Filipinas, big fat, you know, running the big mouth. So, like I said, if you're a foreigner here in the Philippines, you need to be very, very careful. And, you know, even if a Filipina gets shot with a Filipina, it's not good. But, you know, I, I'm not... I'm not God, I can't change it. And that's what it's like here, there's a gun culture. And I actually did watch, actually, about three years ago. And it was some rappers. And these rappers were actually in Manila. And these rappers actually got famous. So these famous rappers in Manila, you know, they got very, very famous, like I've just said. Along came two guys on a motorbike. Bang, 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 bang. Ghost gun shot every one of the rappers right but he didn't kill them all he didn't kill all the rappers i think he killed about they killed three three of the rappers but one or two survived so that's just gun culture in cebu it's just gun culture here in the philippines and there's not a lot i can say just you know a foreigner's being shot and it's really bad because he was with his wife and with his baby 
So it's really bad, simple as that. So all I can say is, karma's come in and you won't like prison in, you won't like prison in the Philippines and you can have a thousand excuses, but you went looking for that foreigner, you went looking for the foreigner with a gun, okay. So whether you were on drugs, whether you were drinking, whether you lost your temper, you need at least 20 years in prison and you know, that's that. I don't know how long you'll you'll do in prison, but I don't know if you'll even go to prison because actually, like I said, I, I, I actually don't know if the story's true, but you know, my point is here guys, as a foreigner here in the Philippines, there's a lot of lovely Filipinas, okay, a lot of nice Filipina guys, girls, a lot of nice people, but you will actually meet one or two very, very dangerous people here in the Philippines. Maybe an handful, but you will meet. You will meet as a foreigner. So you need to actually be on guard and you need to be wise. So, like I said, take care. God bless. We're off to mercy this morning. Like, right, simple as that, really, guys. So, you know, have a great day. Take care. God bless. Like I said, I'll upload this video to Facebook and I'll upload this video to maybe to YouTube as well and also to TikTok. So simple as that guys. Like I said, you want a shout out? I'll give you a shout out. There's not a lot we can say and there's not a lot we can do. Just foreigners here in the Philippines, you know, we do get shot now and again. Simple as that. Right. I'm, I'm waffling on, I'm on and on and on, I'm going to walk back to the house, so take care guys, take care guys, have a great day, you know, like I said, what can I say, not a lot really, you know, you can make your excuses up, you can have a good attorney, if you've got the money, you can get the best attorney, but we'll see what happens, you know, not very good for a foreigner, here in the Philippines. Hi guys, please become a channel member. It's very, very cheap to become a channel member on my YouTube channel. Please like, please subscribe, please share the videos. Please send super chat. Right, so, you know guys, it's a real, it's a real big help for me if you actually do become a channel member. And it's really nice for some of you guys that can actually join me on live. So, you know, I'm actually trying to get on live every every night. So, uh, round about 8 o'clock, guys, I'm actually, more or less, give or take a little, I'm actually online every night. So, 